everyone. I have a special friend I want you to meet. This is Kevin Moore, and he teaches the fiddle, and he also plays with a group called the Gaither Vocal Band. We're so glad you're here, Mr. Kevin. I'm glad to be here. So, this is your instrument, a fiddle, but it looks like a violin. So, can you tell us the difference between a fiddle and a violin? Yes, ma'am. The biggest difference is the style of music you play on it. Basically, it's the same instrument. I can give you a quick example sure. of fiddle and violin. Like, you know, if you're playing violin. Vibrato and very precise. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to play fiddle. You have a lot more sliding and you're able to improvise. Uh huh. But my favorite way to describe the difference is a violin has strings and a fiddle has strang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, do you mind telling us a little bit about the makeup of the instrument? Sure. In general, the, the main pieces of the violin or fiddle uh, is the tuning pegs that you've got here. Uh, basically, these get you within about a half step of the note uh, and then these fine tuners will obviously be real precise and will tune that half step exactly in tune. Obviously you have the strings, four of them, E, A, D, and G. Um, here I've got this little DPA microphone that I've used to pick up. This is my chin rest. Obviously you put your, it's kind of the left side of your cheek, but it's the mm -hmm. chin rest. Um, I will sometimes use a shoulder rest and sometimes I don't because I've gotten comfortable with, with use, using it or not using it. Um, this is an older pickup that is built into the bridge that I've used for years till I've started using this microphone. I think it's just truer to the sound, but this is kind of the setup for the instrument. Yeah, well, I learned some several new things in there. So, do you have maybe a song you could share with us? Sure. Uh, if you want, I can do, I'll do one and start a little bit violin and then go fiddle with the same okay, song. Okay, yeah, that'd be cool. Because earlier we talked a little bit of the, of the two different uh, styles. Yeah. So. Wow, oh, that was beautiful, thank you. Thank you. Oh, so I know there might be some kids at home who love music and would love to start learning how to play an instrument or something like that. What's some of your advice for kids just wanting to get started? I think it's great if you could start, a start with the Suzuki method. It will cover, you know, obviously being able to read. It's a great method to get you your intonation. They do ear training. I think it's one of the best methods to start with. Uh, even if a person wants to go into fiddling, I still would suggest starting with Suzuki. And today, nowadays, you can use YouTube for a lot of things. I use it to learn from fiddle players and violinists to this day. Hmm. And one thing I always encourage my students, if you can, is kind of a mixture of uh, reading, playing by ear, uh, and learning from just as many people as you can. That hmm. way you can kind of just get the most out of the instrument. Yeah, oh, that's great. We're so excited because Kevin is actually going to be with us in Kid View Episode 3. So, if you want to see more of Kevin and his amazing fiddle, check out Kidview Episode 3. See you then!